Hi folks, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts and um, today I've got a little tutorial here for you. Now this is totally not my idea. Um, this I actually first saw on um, Jeanette's Scrapping Happy Exos um, uh, YouTube channel and um, she um, showed these absolutely amazing uh, lace storage um, things that she'd made. Um, I can't even think what to call them. Um, they're like vintage spools, um, and uh, which directed me because she left the link to the actual lady who created them, and she's a German lady, and her name's Sabine Michelak. I really apologise, Sabine, if I've said your name wrong. Um, so this is totally Sabine's idea, and um, I just thought I've been struggling for ages trying to find um, some sort of uh, way of. St I've got some of my laces in two suitcases at the moment. Um, not I'm not huge suitcases, but they're all sort of stuffed in suitcases, so they're all creased and whatever. Word. But this is an absolutely brilliant idea. Now on Sabine's channel, she is a German lady. Um, you can still go along and uh, have a look at some of the stuff she do because um, she does some absolutely gorgeous stuff, and her craft room is to die for. Um, so and yeah, she does. She's really um, sort of vintage, shabby, chic, absolutely stunning. Her projects. Um, but I, but for the English ladies, um, I just wanted to sort of like go through um, how to do it, obviously English version, but this is totally, like I said, down to um, Sabine Michalak, and that's the name of her uh, YouTube channel. And um, what I'm going to do, Sabine used um, chipboard, um, and I have do have chipboard, but I'm going to use um, cardboard, um, just to show you ladies, obviously, who might not have who was just starting out and might not have um, access to chipboard or, or you know or the funds or whatever so that's what I'm going to do it doesn't make any difference to the actual finished project um, as long as you've got don't make it too thick okay we want sort of like cereal box maybe just a little bit thicker size um, just something that's firm that you can uh, you know um, put your paper onto and you need some toilet rolls so I can see all the toilet rolls you ladies are going to be saving them up after watching this because it's an absolutely brilliant idea totally totally uh, genius total genius so anyway so let's get started so um <coughs> i haven't actually made one yet although i've obviously watched um sabine's and jeanette's um youtube channels um so this will be the first time i'm making them but the uh it, they're not hard um from what i could see um so i'm just i don't even know why i'm cutting that off it was just annoying me um so i'm just gonna um uh, play and sort of do them um, as if it was the first time well it is the first time I'm, I'm making them but just to show you guys how easy they are because it is the first time I'm making them which that was a total ramble so here we go okay you can make these um, as thick or as thin as what so say like you've got a lace that's say that th that thick sorry I'll make sure you can see what I'm doing I'm just going to move my camera Becky pudding a little bit closer Okay. Um, yeah, you can make it. Uh, so, if you've got a thin lace, you can make them for thin laces. If you've got a thicker lace, it, it, it's totally you could do it the whole toilet roll and use two. It's totally up to you. Um, so, let's get started. So, for, the, for what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a, a thinner one. Say, I don't know about um, an inch. Yeah, about an inch, because I've got quite a few laces that are, you know, in thin inch inch in width that was inch and width put together so inch <laughs> a new word um so an inch wide so i'm going to cut my um toilet roll um oh i'm just gonna I'm just gonna just put a little mark there i'm 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 not a very good measurer i will say so what you want to do is you'll you'll cut in um i'm gonna I'm going to try to, I don't see, I don't really want to flatten it to do it because I don't want to uh, lose the, um, so I don't know if I can do it without stabbing myself or oh, I don't know. Actually a craft knife would probably be a good idea. But anyway, I'm going to flatten it and do it and, and hopefully I can, uh, so you want this about an inch thick and you want them both the same. Okay, oh yeah, that's okay, that's fine. You want them both the same. Okay, I'm just going to just, and you want them so that they're going to sit down flush to your card. Okay, so I'm just going to cut another one. So you want two of these, 
and you can use um if you with a craft knife you can use um i think sometimes a kitchen roll tubes or you can get some tubes that are actually a bit more uh, a bit more sturdier but um it's going to be wrapped anyway with other paper so you know don't worry too much about it they will be sturdy enough what up i did it the right end cack handed i do love this ruler okay so i'm just going to cut this one off as well Again, I'm going to do it. Making sure it's a... I mean, like I said, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but... Uh, you want it so you haven't got um, too much of a gap. Because we're going to be hot gluing these to the card okay so we've got our two two pieces all right so I'm just going to put those aside right so now um, what we want to do is make um, the pieces that are going to go sort of like that shaped on the top okay um, now I'm going to use um, just to draw around um, this um, I think it's a dies to die for die but any circular die or that sort of shape an upside down cup whatever um, will do perfectly fine um, so and all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, halfway round just halfway round okay and then I want to draw oh, let's just move those out of the way um, and I might even, uh, I think another time I might even uh, keep one of these as a template to uh, to use. Because once you've got these, um, like, you know, cutting a template, it'd be really cool. So um, what you're looking for is to, is to be able to, these are going to sit it's sort of inside like that, not too far apart. Okay, so you want them sort of like that. So I'm just going to... My, and there's nothing scientific scientific about what I'm doing. It is totally by eye. By eye, lad. Okay. So I'm just going to draw around here. Just halfway. And then I'm going to join this line up here. Okay, so what you're ending up with is that sort of shape. Okay, that shape is what you, what we're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one out and then I'm going to use that one as a template to do the other one. Okay, so... Just cutting this out. It's going to be covered with paper anyway, so don't worry too much about it. Okay. So that's that one. I'll do draw a second one. There we go. So 
sometimes if you cut the majority of the card sticking out off just to get it but sometimes it's easier to cut without actually bending the uh, the card in the middle And you can cover these in, in whatever paper you want, it's to, whatever colour theme you want, whether you want bright or you want to you know, go with them. Um, a great thing to do is um, old um, book papers, stuff like that. Okay, so, where did I put the other one? Oh, chucked it over there. So there we go, so we've got our two pieces, don't worry, because we're going to cover, I'll cover that. Okay, so I'm just going to, um, now it, depending on how much or how little lace you want to go on these as to how, you know, but you want them sort of like uh, a fairly sort of like even, I mean these measure, uh, I don't know what, three and a quarter, okay so three and a quarter. Um, and we find a draw a line. Um, that's probably actually it's probably uh, three and two eighths. So if I do uh, one and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine eighths, three and nine eighths. Uh, sorry, one and nine eighths. So one, two, three, four, five, nine. I would say that's pretty much the middle. But you, you know, don't um, measure your own. Don't take my measurements as a because um, I've just cut these out by using this. Die, and I'm not really sure what uh, the size of this die is, so I'm just drawing a line down there, and then I just want to. I'm just going to mark approximately a little cross in the middle as to where I want these to go, so they're just making sure they're in good shape. Uh, like I said, you can if you guys want to be more precise measuring wise, then that's totally fine. So I'm just going to put a little mark. Okay, so I've just got to put a little mark there, so I know that that's pretty much the middle of where my tube is going to go. Okay, you don't have to do the same with that one because it's just going to go straight on top. Right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to put these to the side. So I'm going to actually oops I'll drop it on the floor I'm gonna cover these just move my papers out the way um, I'm gonna pick some papers these papers I got from Cuddly Budley and they're really really nice this some um, this these are double sided you don't have to use double sided it's just um, So what I'm going to do, I think, I might use those two and keep these ones. So I'm going to use these two, I think, because they're quite pretty. Probably those two. Right, okay. So, um, what you want to do is um, leave an edge around um, your paper so you can fold it over just to give a neat edge to this uh, that you're backing. So what I'm going to do, using my, this is Colour Glue, um, 
a lady asked me, um, one of my, um, uh, on a group that I'm in, Crafty Chica, she asked me um, what the glue, it is called Color Glue, and this is a clear one with a red top. Um, I'm not sure, I know it's getting harder and harder to find in the UK, but it's my favourite, I love it. Um, so, uh, do you know what the funny thing is? I've just drawn this on here, and I'm going to, if I cover it with paper, but then again, I suppose I don't have to cover this side, do I? No, I don't. Okay. So this, yeah, you don't have to cover this side because the lace is going to be on here. So you just need enough paper to fold over just to sort of like cover this bit here. But if you do want to uh, cover both sides, that's totally up to you. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this down. Okay, oh, I've got it slipping out of my hand. Come on, glue. Don't me. Dropping everything everywhere. So I'm just going to stick this one on this end, just leaving about a quarter, make sure you've got about a quarter of an inch or just over um, to fold over. Okay, so just stick that down. And then I'm going to use my bigger Mr. Timmy scissors. I'm just going to cut off. piece of this, okay, because I want that for the top, and I'm just going to cut around, okay, And then what you want to do then is just snip down all the way around. I'm going to fold these oops, bits over. Okay, and then just add some glue to it. You can use um, any wet glue, to be fair. You don't really want to use um, double-sided tape. Wet glue is uh, better. And then all you need to do is just uh, fold these over, like so.
because it's wet glue you might just need to hold it down a bit because it's uh, And you can use hot glue if you want to, it's totally preference. There we go. Okay, that's one. Do the second one. And then just do the same to the other one, making sure that your glue gets to the end of the, uh, of the paper, so it will stick better. Okay. And just fold it over like so.
I mean, if you've got some um, um, guys that have got some chipboard, you can um, just put the paper, you know, up to the edge and paint um, around the edge of the chipboard. That would be another good way to finish it off so it looks neat. Okay. There we go. I've got blue all stuck to my fingers. <laughs> right, okay, so, so now we've got. I'm just going to stick a bit of hot glue under there because it's not sticking for some reason. Like I said, you can't hot glue this down, that's totally up to you. Okay, so now, um, if you want to, um, but just for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to because I just want to show you how to make um, the shape of this. Um, you can paint these, um, but you don't really need to because they are going to be covered, um, but it's, it's totally up to you. So I'm just going to um, put some hot glue around the outside and you, you have to be fairly quick with this hot glue because uh, it dries pretty quick And I'm just doing this by eye. Uh, and wouldn't you believe it? Just as I'm doing it, it runs out of me. Oh god, that's my light gone again. So annoying. Did that to me the other day. I'll have to sort it out in a minute, guys. Okay. So there we go. That's those two on there. This is a craft lamp that um, my son bought me for Christmas, but. It just seems to, I don't know whether it's the bulbs overheating or something, but it just turns itself off. 
I don't know. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to glue um, this piece here onto the top of this. Okay. So I'm going to try and do this quickly. So my uh, hot glue doesn't start to dry on the second one. Or the first one, I should say. Don't worry um, the fact it looks messy there because that's going to be covered up. Okay, so don't worry about that. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to just cut two, two pieces. Um, I want this just under an inch. In, in, in width because it's going to go on the inside of inside of there so um, that's that's an inch um, yeah that's an inch Um, if I just do that about there, so I'm just going to check. Right, that's too thin. See, so. See, and that's just that little bit too. I just need to take a slither off. I was never any good at measuring anyway. Crazy, crazy, crazy. with my pen save me wasting paper and cutting slithers off.
and then I'm gonna just make sure that that was okay. Yep. And then I'm just gonna stick these two pieces together. I'm gonna use hot glue though for this one. So I'm just gonna put a piece of hot glue there and then add this. Like that. So what you want is a long strip. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add this. the inside of this here so just starting at the top stick it to the the first one okay and then wrap it round and again just stick it to this one here like so and then just Trim, trim the piece off and then just glue that down like so and look at that how fab is that and the good thing about this is I mean it doesn't have to be I mean I've just it's not as tidy as I probably would like but um, you get the basic sort of like shape idea um, and the good thing about it is, is you don't, you can use scraps, like, you know, if you've used, got 12 by 12 pieces of paper and you just want to use scraps. Um, I'm just going to get some legs, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I've just got, found some, just some lace. Now, this is like, I would, I'll just, I'm just showing you, this is my problem. So I've got this lace put with a bit of a pearl trim, but it's all creased and folded over. But now I can add this. To this um, that I've just made. That's going to be fiddly now because I'm doing it on camera. And it's going to keep it nice and tidy. Lovely and flat. And also, I'm going to be able to see you know what's on because I'm forever having to troll you know go through my you know I get I drag the case out and you know see what has got in there because it doesn't look but, um also what the lady did what Sabine did which I'll show you in a minute um I'm just gonna just add this I mean, what a brilliant way to store your lace trim. I think it's absolutely. I mean, I know you can get these pla these plastic um, that you you know and buy them in the um, or you see them in the shops, but now you can make your own. Um, and I fix and I think it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, you know what? I have got to have a go at making them. And um, like I said, you you know you can do it however wide you want as far as you know the thickness of whatever lace trim you've got you know you're only limited by the size of your toilet rolls and the size and whatever card the card you've got which to be perfectly honest is pretty limitless do you know what I mean so you know um, and then, you know, um, if you've got like a really nice, they can be displayed nice, you don't have to have them stuffed in drawers or or even you can, you know, you can put them in 
boxes you just open a drawer if you have got them in a drawer or you've got them on a shelf and you can think right okay yeah that's the lace I'm looking for um, that's the one I want and it's all nice and tidy it's not creased I think it's absolutely absolutely a brilliant brilliant the best crafty storage um, you know I've seen lace for laces in a long time so and like I said if you want to cover the inside with paper um, you can I haven't just pure I purely for the um, you know I just wanted to show you guys sorry um, how to how to make this but um, I think probably because you can just still see a little bit there I probably would cover the inside um, you know, and it just tidies that edge up as well. Um, so there we go. I'm just going to put a pin in there, and it just look at that. How genius is that? Now the other thing um, Sabine did, which I'm just going to show you, is she actually made. Um, little. I'm just going to tr trim this. I'm just going to make sure this goes round. Yeah. Oh, she actually also made little uh, belly bands for them. Um, so I'm just going to. I don't know. I'm just going to cut this in half, probably. And you can. What would be really nice is you could use a hole punch and just, um, I'm just going to get a hole punch actually, uh, not a hole punch, a border punch, just bear with me. Okay, okay I'm back and this is an EK success border punch, it's just one I pulled out just to show you, you know, so I'm just going to uh, punch all the way along here, just to show you. Well, you don't have to do this, it's totally... But I just, you know, I mean, it's just, um, you don't want to add um, loads and loads of embellishments or anything to the front of this because obviously you, it's for storage. But, you know, putting these um, little uh, belly bands on them is, just makes them look really pretty. So I'm just going to, I always start in the middle when I'm punching. Um, a border punch anyway, I always start in the middle. Um, I've got that all about the bass song in my head. <laughs> um, but these are a really good idea for, you know, if you're feeling a little bit... Um, I don't know. You're not quite sure what to make. You just sit in front of the TV and uh, I don't want it too tight because you want it to slip on and on. So I'm just going to, uh, oops, Piece of glue there, hold it down, trim off the access, 
and there we go and it just will just slip on it's not supposed to slip on and off <laughs> but you get the idea yeah there we go so um, I'm just going to fold this so it's more Okay, so you've got like a little belly band, and then it just slips back on again. And then you, if you wanted to, you could put like a little um, punch out a little circle. You could write down what lace is there, how much you've got. I mean, it's you know, it's totally up to you. You could, um, you know, stick a piece of lace on there to show what actual lace is, but you can see what it is anyway. But don't you think that's a total genius idea? I think it's absolutely brilliant. And I know I'm going to be making um, more of those. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this uh, little tutorial. Again, I will leave the links down the bottom to um, Jeanette's Scrappy Happy XO and uh, Sabine's Sabine. I'm just sorry. I just don't want to pronounce her name wrong. Sabine Michelak, um, which I probably have, or Michelak, Michelak, um, YouTube channels. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.